Hey guys, welcome back to another Chili Billy video. This video is going to be a response to Jason, the horrific nightmare, who did a top 10 hammer, his top 10 hammer films. And I decided to do one of my own. I watched this video, it's an awesome list. And so, without further ado, I'll, I'll show you my top 10. Coming in at number 10 is Scream of Fear. There's a story about uh, this woman who who sees the well, the ghostly aspiration of her of her dead father, and this is this really a good movie. I really enjoy this. This is Christopher Lee. That's coming at number 10, Scream of Fear. Coming at number 9, The Abominable Snowman of the Himalayas. That's our Peter Cushing as well as um, Forrest Tucker. These are guys that come across the, the Yeti. And the Yeti is, um, is a horrifying creature. And they're trying to capture it. This is the abominable snowman of the Himalayas. Coming in at number eight is the Family Opera with Herbert Long and Heather Shears. This is, this is another great adaptation of uh, the Family Opera. This is a um, only the second one that I know of. The original starred Lon Chaney, which I do, which I do have in my collection. This is uh, coming in at number eight, The Family Opera. Coming in at number seven, The Reptile. Another ham another hammer film. Coming in at number six is the Gorgon. One look at her and you turn to stone. That's a horrible way to go. Coming in at number five is the Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. And coming in at number four is The Mummy from Christopher Lee. For some reason I never owned this in my collection for the longest time. And I decided to get this from my collection. Coming in at number three is The Curse of Frankenstein. Peter Cushing and Chris Lee as the monster. Coming in at number two is The Heart of Dracula. This is the, the British title. It's called Dracula over in England. In the US it's called it's called The Horrors of Dracula. And then, my number one film is The Curse of the Werewolf. Now, this is, this is um, only the second version of the, the werewolf. And, of course, Lon Chaney was the first. When he played, when he played uh, the Wolfman. His, 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 his all-time classic, there's no doubt. This one I like the best. 
It's probably the best werewolf movie, I think, out of the two, as you can see right there. I mean, this is Oliver Reed's best, best performance as, uh, in this movie. Well, that's it, folks, for my top ten Hammer films. Please leave please your comments below. Let me know what you think. As always, I thank you much for watching, and please subscribe.